man, I suck at guitar now. I haven't played this thing in years, but uh, you know, hey, I'll practice some. Some anyhow, Robert the narrator put out uh, this great video called uh, Zero to Hero. In fact, you know, check out Confessions of a Frustrated Game Master. Great series. Uh, really enjoying that. So check out his channel. Uh, anyhow, this particular video, Zero to Hero, he talked about two things. He, he talked about, you know, the fact that he's creating a, a new role-playing game. And so, you know, he's just been developing that for quite some time. However, he also talks about the fact that he's not a big fan of the Zero to Hero um, shtick, you know, in, in, in games. Because, you know, you know, like myself, he plays a person in real life that could probably be taken out by one or two hits. And, you know, he wants to play something that's a little bit more competent. And, and I get that. I understand that. Um, and so, I, you know, he's trying to mirror that in his in his own game. He didn't really discuss, you know, exactly how he's going to do that. Um, but I want to talk about that a little bit and just kind of respond. Um, now, it's no surprise, you know, because I like, you know, tend to like games like Basic D&D, that I am kind of a zero-to-hero guy. But I get his point. And, and, you know, to me, there's a few um, caveats. There's things you have to be careful of. Um, but, you know, before I say that, you know, there, there's a couple different, um, you know, games I've looked at. Um, you know, something like Advanced Fighting Fantasy, which JDRD30 is really hot on. You know, not just because he played Fighting Fantasy or he read the Fighting Fantasy books when he was a kid. And that's kind of how he cut his teeth. But also in that game, you know, you start out at a, uh, you know, higher level competence than you would in something like, you know, D&D. Um, so, or like a basic, you know, the older D&D. So it's very old school feeling game, but you start out at a higher level of competence. Uh, and, and that's cool because, you know, I mean, his point is, you know, uh, you know, JDRD30's point is, you know, we don't have a heck of a lot of time to game. We're busy. We're adults. We have things going on. And so, you know, do I really want to get a bunch of guys together, you know, or people together and, you know, take the time to go through these levels to the point where they, they have, they're playing characters that are kind of fun and competent. And so I get that. And that's definitely a way to, uh, to do that. You know, the one thing, um, one of the caveats for me, at least, is, you know, you don't want to... Um, Put yourself in a position where you know as, as you progress more like you spend experience points because you know a lot of these games are skill based rather than level based which is great um you know something like advanced fighting fantasy one of the drawbacks is over time uh if you're savvy you can spend a lot of uh your experience points just in raising your global skill score and then your character gets to be rather super powered you know so you have to be careful of that the flip side of that is you know in a game where you start out at a higher level of competence um you know, one of the, for me, part of the fun of role-playing games is your, your character gets to get better. They get more skilled over time. Um, and, you know, if, you know, in, in uh, order to avoid that creating a superhero character at the other end, you know, either you're not, you don't have any kind of advancement at all, which to me is boring, or, you know, when you're spending your experience points, or, you know, however the, however the game, you know, uses experience, you know, when, when you're, it, skills are so expensive or whatever, you, you don't end up with too much. And it's kind of like, well, man, this is not as fun as I would like it to be in that regard. Not not saying that that's all the games are about, because they certainly are not. But there's kind of a happy medium, and I think that's kind of an art form <laughs> in terms of figuring out how to do that. Um, games you know that use the ubiquity system, I'm, I'm, I'm digging that too, because you do start out at a higher level of competence, sort of, than you would in something like basic D&D. Uh, you know, or, you know, old, you know, like, you know, first edition, you know, the advanced D&D, second edition, all that kind of junk. Um, kind of. And what I mean by that is, as far as skills are concerned, you can create a character that has some niche skills that are, that's very powerful. You can get a guy that's, you know, really good at fighting people. Uh, what doesn't go up are things like, you know, it's health, you know, it's your, which is analogous to your hit points. You know, you're always going to have that same number. And, you know, so the characters are, are kind of fragile, like, you know, like in real life. Combat is very lethal. You know, dangerous situations are very lethal. It's very easy to get killed. Um, so you're not going to become the superhuman where you can wade, you know, um, with abandon into a bunch of mooks. You might be able to kill a bunch of them, but, you know, one of them can take you out as well, you know, which is something that Robert was not into. So, you know, um, that might not appeal to him as much. But, you know, I, mean, I, I dig it. That's just kind of one of the, uh, one of the drawbacks uh, to that system. You know, it may be a, a feature to you, but, you know, I'm just saying that's kind of, you know, it, it does, it's half and half is my point um that game also is pretty neat in terms of like how you can expend uh, spend experience points and it actually gives you a, a really neat um snapshot when you're making non-player characters or you're making your uh, your uh, henchmen or whatnot or you you have patrons or like you know um resources you know other characters in the world that your your uh, your character is uh, aligned with or has relationships with it gives you this idea of what a weak character is you know what a, what an average person what a skilled person which is what you know, player characters start out at skilled, and then, you know, I think there's about three levels, you know, over that. And they're not levels, but it's just like, well, you know, what do their ability scores look like? How many talents do they have? You know, how many skill points do they have? 
at that point is spread around. So it's kind of a neat little snapshot of, of what you know somebody might look like um, at that uh, you know any any given time in their career. Uh, let's see what else did I want to talk about here? You know, I had something else that was really brilliant to say. <laughs> um, you know. Yeah, there. You know, it's one of the things though that um, you know I'm not a big fan of. Also, is something like you know um, where D and D has gone, and I'm not you know not attacking it. Just it's not for me. Is you know w- games like you know what uh, what the D20 system has turned into, like Pathfinder, um, etc. What Fourth Edition turned into. The characters definitely started out much more survivable, much more powerful than they did in, in like basic and advanced. You know, the stuff from, from back from the 70s and 80s. However. Um, also, what happened, you know, is you know the power creep keeps going on. It's it's not for me because eventually the characters become very super powered, and it's like playing supers, but you're not supers, and so yeah, you're you're kind of like Batman on steroids at that point, and, and so that's a game where you know they fall into the trap. At least for me, in my estimation, of you start a char- character much more competent, um, however, you just you keep on skyrocketing. You know, so somewhere there's there's got there's a happy medium somewhere between a uh, starting out you know more competent than you would in like the old school games, however not um, you know not becoming like cartoonish or kind of a caricature. Um, my personal preference, you know, when I when I'm using something one of my favorite games like you know BX the Lamentations of the Flame Princess those kind of things you know basic fantasy role playing game, um, it's just you know you kind of you don't skip the first couple levels because I don't like I don't like just starting at third level. That feels kind of like cheating to me, but kind of like mimicking. You know, I, I guess you know, create I created the funnel, or a lot of us created the funnel. You know, from Dungeon Crawl Classics before <laughs> we ever heard of it, um, where you just you kind of like the first level. You just kind of like you do an adventure, you survive, great. Your second level, you know, maybe may, you know, kind of gloss over the first couple levels, you know, and not worry about exact experience point numbers at that point. Which you know, I know is heresy. Some of my olds, you know. OSR, um, you know, peers will throw rocks at me and get mad and, and you know, Hedgehog, are you there? <laughs> you know, but, you know, to me, it's just, you know, I, I figure at that point, you, you, your character survived because they are they are very fragile at that point, you know. Your character survived, good for you, you know, you made it, you know, bump up a level, bump up a little, little you know, a little more powerful character. And then, you know, at that point, maybe slow down and go a little bit, little bit more by the book, my personal preference. Uh, anyhow, so um, really enjoyed Robert's video. Oh, the other thing is he did ask this one question, you know, um, about uh, what games are there that, you know, use a D20 for resolution um, and where the uh, warriors have a lot of maneuvers, call them maneuvers, but, you know, I get the idea, um, where rogues or thieves are the, are the people that have, you know, like, all the skills for the most part. And then somebody like a, a spellcaster, you know, wizards really don't have maneuvers or skills or not very much, but, you know, they have the spells. You know, what game is like that? And I'll tell you what, um, except for the fact that it doesn't use uh, D20 for all the resolutions because it also uses D6, Lamentations of the Flame Princess, that, that's the game that's like that. So that's my answer to that question. Have a good one.